welcome back guys here we'll try to understand some more concepts of inheritance so first of all we need to understand three things we learned in the inheritance till now one is single level inheritance one is multi-level inheritance and one is hierarchical level inheritance now you'll be wondering wh why multiple multiple inheritance is not supported in java see multi-level is different whereas the multiple inheritance is different what you are trying to say that here is you have a class called a right sorry you have a class called a a extends b comma c comma d is this possible like a extends b comma c comma d is this possible this is not possible in java by the way okay and why it is not possible so if you look at here you have example three it has one method called message method and you have example four has a message method and then you have example uh, six right so can you can you do here uh, example 3 comma example 4 so by mistake i have written here example 3 it should be 4 so can you do here uh, can you do here example 6 extends example 3 comma example 4 no this is not possible right uh, why this is not possible we need to understand so what happens is okay let me show you through eclipse for better understanding so what we have here is we have example 3 it has a message method example 4 has a message method example 6 is trying to extend 3 comma 4 so first of all the moment you will try to do uh, do that you will get a compile time so the first things see not possible is the different thing first of all you will get a compile time error okay this is not allowed why this is not allowed why java has not given this facility why cannot we extend more than one class by using comma separated right the reason being is let's say inheritance is also used to achieve the runtime polymorphism right which means you can override the implementations of your uh, parent class in the child class basically we will see this in the overriding chapter okay uh, not now but here just try to understand so assume that example 3 has the same method which is nothing but message method example 4 also has the same method message method now example 6 when this guy extends 3 comma 4 and when you go and create the object of example 6 right you have created the object of example 6 by writing example 6 obj is equal to new example 6 and when you call obj dot message which message will get called compiler will get confused like, like whether it should get called from the example 3 or it should get called from the example 4 right so that is the reason your multiple inheritance is not supported in the java right because compiler should know which implementations need to be called at the runtime and for that reason we don't support multiple inheritance in the java if you we'll try to do that you will get a compile time error this is very important questions people might ask you in the interview now why private members do not get inheritance if you try to remember on my very first example i had private member and when i was trying to inherit i was not able to do that the reason being is private member is accessed only within the class okay it cannot be accessed outside the class that is the reason even though you use inheritance concept you cannot inherit the private member right constructors cannot be inherited in the java constructors also you cannot inherit which means let's say you have a parent class and you have a child class parent class has one argumented constructor child class has non-argumented which means default right and you are going to make the object of your child class right so when you try to make the object of your child class with argument which is not allowed because constructors cannot be inheritance we will see that with the eclipse so look at here you have a, a class called cons1 okay it has one constructor called argumented constructor which will take one argument here here itself we can understand and there is a default constructor which will take no argument so this is your parent class cons1 now cons2 this guy extend cons once right so 
in this const to when you try to create the object like this will this is possible this is not possible right you might be thinking since i'm using extends keyword here const one both of the constructor will get uh, acquired in the const two right and we'll be able to create the object this is not possible guys if you'll try to do so you'll get a compile time error because constructors cannot be inherited in the java go here and you can see that const one const two uh, okay i think i uh, okay i have it here yeah so const one has two constructor and one non static variable whereas the const2 extends const1 and i'm trying to create the object of this guy const2 so i'm getting a compile time error because i am thinking that i am trying to inherit from the const1 which is not possible but if i'll create the object of okay this is possible the second one is possible that does not mean that it is getting acquired from here no this is not getting acquired from here because you know that when when you don't have any uh, constructor in your class right compiler will keep by default one default constructor in your class but you, here you are getting a red mark the red mark is why you are getting a red mark it is asking you to add the constructor so because we are trying to create the object here right so you are getting a red mark and when you place mouse over here it will clearly tell you add constructor const to int it is asking you go ahead and add one more constructor here with argument then only you can create the object which means constructor never get inherited very important interview questions now private member as i said uh, private member you cannot inherit uh, let me show you with the example also so let's say you have a uh, class c and let let's say class c has private int a okay now let me make class d class d extends c okay now this guy has the main method and when i write d o b j is equal to new d and when i say o b j dot i cannot call this member i cannot call a but if i'll write public int b i can call that okay b i can call that a i cannot if i will try to do that i will get a compile time error s y s o see here i am trying to print that i am getting a compile time error whereas if i will do b i will not get compile time so private method will not participate into the inheritance first thing second thing guys is it possible to write like this like how do we write for the method this is not possible though uh, this is supported but this is not possible right because whenever you call any uh, variable from any class it requires placeholder so you cannot you cannot call just like this okay whereas you can write here uh, void test one method and you can call this like obj dot this is fine okay but this is not fine because you are calling a very you are calling a variable so when you are calling a variable there should be a placeholder so which means you can write this like int c is equal to obj dot b and this is fine you will not get compile time now earlier i was getting a compile time so if i remove this i will get a compile time because it requires a placeholder variable you cannot call directly okay it it needs a placeholder and when you do so you will not get the problem now in my next video we are done with the inheritance in the next video i'll start with aggregation in the java this is the part of inheritance 
but this is a little bit different from the inheritance okay so i hope that you guys uh, are understanding my all the uh, all the topics which i'm recording please uh, take a printout of my notes and make a note when you are watching my video so that you can study offline thank you guys thank you for watching this